uh, Ian, Harold, Catalina, thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate it. Congratulations on the series. Thanks, Thanks Emmanuel. So my first question is goes for Ian and, and Catalina on setting up your guys' character and your family dynamic in order to uh, showcase some of those emotions and how you're going to handle like a traumatic event in the beginning of the series. Um, I feel that, you know, I, 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 I took a lot of, uh, you know, from my real life, I have a, I have a 13 year old. And when you put yourself in a situation where this immense pain would can happen to you, it's, it's unbearable. I mean, like, I don't know how people survive, actually. I just, I, I wouldn't know how to deal with it. Um, it's, it's something that, you know, it's a mixture of like, you're bringing your real life into a character and, um, you know, just meeting your children. They're just so easy to work with. And, you know, working with Ian, I think we just, we just make our little family work, work out and, and the scenes were full and, you know, the, 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 talking uh prior to every scene i think it was key to the development of the result of what we did uh harold your character seems to be under a lot of pressure i know that even some characters in in some of the um, early episodes say you know we really believe that you were the ones who are going to get us out mm -hmm. what what kind of pressure does, does boyd under and and how does that make him a little bit more irritable than others <laughs> 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 you're right he is a little bit he's a little bit more irritable that's uh uh, uh and i think that's a testament to how much he cares about like mm -hmm. really uh really uh coming to the rescue basically i think you know he's a guy who's used to uh who's used to uh being of service and uh and because his family is there as well and he has a few other pressures uh, that we'll find out about as the series goes further. I think um, I think he really feels like uh, he feels the the full weight of of being of service to this community of people in whatever way he can. Even if you know we have these two places, the town and the colony, and even being of service in in that he steps out of the way so that the colony has people can live there in the way that they want to live. I think that those things are really important to him. But as, as the series goes on, you'll see how much that pressure is getting even, you know, more and more intense for him and how the, the need to try to get everybody out pushes him further uh, throughout the rest of the, this first season. Ian, tell me a little bit about the pacing in, in the way that uh, you and your family uh, find out about certain things because it seems like, we're on the same journey as they are as, as mm. to discovering what is going on. That's it. You hit it. The, the, the audience is, we are the window into this world for the audience. And we are, you are experiencing things at the same time that we are experiencing things, which is moment by moment, piece by piece, reveal by reveal all the way through from, from how do we keep circling? And didn't work as cattle, as Tabitha says, didn't we just see this a few minutes ago and we couldn't have missed the turn and then the crows and what is that and and the crash and the talisman being hung and wh what is that thing and why are you blocking out the windows and why are you afraid of, of the night and what are those whispers? So that pace is uh, is is calibrated through through our 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 story and and I think expertly done done by uh, Jack Bender who directed all the first four episodes who very much understood at what point to reveal the next the next uh <laughs> something that will ratchet up the tension yeah and that tension is very important it's in, in especially setting up scares and and sometimes even setting it up in your imagination what importance is it to not reveal things and to to keep it from audiences and to let it simmer and build uh, you can take that one harold no, you hit it right on the head, Emilio. Really. That's exactly right. Sometimes the scariest things and the scary is the things that we imagine are about to happen. Do you know what I mean? And that tension is something that uh, that Jack and 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 Jeff and you know the guys who go on there and edit all the stuff they're really really great at adding the tension, pulling it back, opening up. Ian was talking about this earlier, like all these people with so much heart, opening up space for that to breathe, but then putting the, all those those heartfelt moments in peril 
like finding like uh, moments that you're like, oh no, I don't want this to happen to them. And so um, I, I think that, uh, you know, we have an expert team that's, that's actually putting that pace together and, and giving us all those things. They're giving us some things on screen to be worried about and then some things to just walk away and be worried about. And I, I think that's fantastic. I think that's what makes for great entertaining television. What it makes small towns uh, in, you know, these like secluded places, such great backgrounds for stories like these. I have no idea. I mean, like, I have no idea. I, I, I just find that little towns are scary. <laughs> I've never been, I've never stayed in a small little town. I come from like, you know, Bogota, which is a very big town, but little towns in America scare the crap out of me. I don't, I don't know why, but they, they do. So I think it's a perfect scenario for these shows <laughs> to be in. I'd like to add to that. Uh, I, I am from, uh, a, a small town in California. And I love small town America very much. But one can easily find themselves in the with the feeling when you are there that you are that you either you are, are either trapped, or that you could be trapped. <laughs> there is no and there might be no escape. Because you look around and you see people where it looks like there is no escape for that person. And they know it, and I know it, <laughs> and I will do everything to find my way out. And then perhaps, and the beauty of it is, you might come full circle and come back to that town and enjoy it immensely and then raise kids there yourself or you know live out the rest of your life there. That's the full circle of it. Yeah, it's, it's uh, fun. Uh, Catalina, Harold, Ian, thank you so much for your time today and congratulations on the series. I look forward to seeing more of it in the future and talking with you guys again. You're welcome. Take care.